everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to begin a new series that I personally really enjoy watching on YouTube. And those are the empties videos where beauty gurus pretty much finish off maybe like you know five to a dozen products and then they review or give like a mini review letting you know what they thought about the product and I find that very beneficial being that one of my jobs is working in the beauty industry so you know my clients and you know customers always have questions about if something works or you know what are the side effects how many people like it how many people dislike it so I thought that I would of course empty out some products and pretty much just give you a review on if I like the product or not. So the first item that I want to show you is actually a home item and this is the Frosted Cupcake Candle which I guess comes from the White Barn Collection from Bath and Body Works. Um, I really like this candle a lot because one it really does smell like a vanilla frosted cupcake and two because it actually does scent up my apartment. I feel like every now and then I'll invest in a candle, a very expensive candle, um, and I just really don't feel like the scent flows throughout my place. So I really do like this candle, and um, you can find them at Bath & Body Works. I believe their candles this size are $20, I think so, um, but don't be crazy. They always have a sale where you can get two big candles for like $20 to $22. So this one is definitely one of my favorite. Um, so I suggest you get it because it will scent up your entire you know, apartment or bottom floor wherever you have it lit. Okay, moving on to beauty items. The first item is actually the Onyx Professional Nail Polish Remover. This is not the acetone version, which is typically what I use on my nails, but I actually picked this up from Walmart. It's about 2 to $3. It did pretty well. Um, it's just, the reason why I got it is because it doesn't stink. It doesn't smell like typical nail polish remover. This is actually strawberry scented and it did okay, but I think I'm gonna stick with the acetone overall. But for two to three dollars, this is a really nice size bottle for nail polish remover. So the next item is my Eyes, Lips, and Face Foundation Primer. I feel like this, I didn't get my money's worth because I felt like one, for $6, I didn't get a lot of primer out of this. Two, the pump, I could only pump out so much. I actually had to end up taking the top off and actually like scraping it on my hand just to get the product out. Like the pump situation just didn't work for me. Um, I do have oily skin. I have very, very oily skin. So typically I wear matte foundation and I feel like this was the best primer when wearing matte foundation. Now when I'm wearing liquid foundation like today, um, this doesn't really keep the oil from seeping through my pores. So this I suggest for oily skin people when you're wearing like a matte foundation such as like the Maybelline uh, matte mousse. And then the next item is also by Eye Slips and Face and it is their original primer. Um, this I've been using forever. This was the first primer I've ever used on my lids and it's still the primer that I use to this day. I do switch out every now and then. I also use the other Eye Slips and Face primers that they have out. But this one does work for me. It, it doesn't crease on me. Like I said, I do have oily skin, which includes oily lids. Um, the only thing I don't like about this is if you put too much, it does leave like a white cast on your eyelid and brow bone if you are of a darker complexion. And then moving right along, another primer. This is the Fix and Perfect Primer, and this is the tinted one um, by Rimmel. This one is so matte. Sometimes it could be a little too matte for me. Um, but this does work best for me in the spring and summer months, uh, especially being here in the South where it's very humid and it's just, it's just down here having oily skin is not cool. But um, it does, I wish, I wish I could show you. Oh, I can. It's kind of like, can you see it? It is tinted, like I said. So for me, it does leave... Um, it does make me look very ghostly, very ashy, um, but like I said, you're going to cover it with foundation anyway. So um, this to me works really well when I'm wearing liquid foundation that isn't meant for oily skin to put like that. And this is only about 3 or $4 if 5 And then the next item is the Love & Beauty Mango Purifying Dead Sea Mud Mask from Forever 21. I actually purchased a while ago. This pack cost about $1.50. Um, oh, a dollar and eighty cents. Sorry, um, and it just 
feels so good. Um, once again, having oily skin, I do give myself a mask about twice a week. Um, especially because I wear makeup pretty often throughout the week. A mask is always good. This pack, I want to say, lasted about four different times. Like I used this four times and as you can see it's a pretty nice size pack. So I definitely don't regret spending that $1.80 on this pack. And then, oh my gosh, I thought I was done with eyes, lips, and face. But I just finished my last pack of wipes. I've been using these wipes forever. I've used, like, the Neutrogena wipes. I've used, I want to say the Pond's wipes. But these I pretty much like the most. They're unscented, and they get the job done. As with any wipe, it doesn't get all of your makeup off. Like, you will have to go back and clean your face with a cleanser and things like that. But for the most part... These wipes really do do a good job. I actually purchased mine from Ross. Um, this is the 30 pack and I get it at Ross for only $4. I think if you order these online, it's about like eight. So I would definitely check out my local Ross if you wanna try the wipes. Otherwise, you can go to Target and get the 20 pack for I think like $3. Okay, moving into skincare. I actually just finished off my dual mo moisturizer um, by Up and Up, which is the Target brand. This has lasted me so long. I don't remember when I even purchased this, but I do put on moisturizer every single day. Only once a day because I really don't feel the need to add any more moisturizer to my face. Um, but this is oil free and um, on the bottle it does say, you know, compare it to the Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer, which I've never used. I stick with this one. This one's only like $3.50. It, like I said, will last you so long. It's unbelievable. Like I just finished this the other day and just went back and purchased another bottle. I think this is like the cheapest moisturizer of this size you can get anywhere. And then going into more up and up, um, I also finished my Blackhead Facial Scrub. And this one says compared to the Clean and Clear Blackhead Clearing Scrub, which I have used. And I feel like they both work the same. Um, they both have salicylic acid. I don't have many blackheads. I don't get them really that often. But this is still a really good scrub. And I just use this with my derma brush. Um, or you, if you have a Clarisonic, you can use it with your Clarisonic. But I do feel like... Since using this with my derma brush, I have experienced fewer breakouts. And then moving on to Clear Cell, I purchased the Clear Cell pump, the like the dispenser. I'll insert like a photo here, but I purchased the dispenser like a couple of months back because I got tired of like squeezing. I know I'm so lazy, squeezing my cleansers on my derma brush so I just you know I just like convenience so I, all I have to do now is like wave my derma brush under the dispenser and you know my cleanser comes out so this is the rapid action face wash which consists of 2% salicylic acid and there's two different kinds currently I think I'm, I'm using the, the red one I don't even know I think it's like a fruit punch I think the name of it is like fruit punch or grape, grapefruit um, and this one is just the plant extract I have a hard time saying extracts, but it's the soothing plant extracts uh, kind, and this one works, but I do prefer the grapefruit. It smells better, and I just love the way it takes off any remaining foundation or makeup. Okay, moving along to hair products. Um, this is the Pantene Nature Fusion Moisture Balance shampoo that was totally a mouthful um but this is a huge bottle i actually got this on clearance at target last year i remember even hauling this um and i got it for like two dollars and fifty cents it's not the best shampoo in the world but i feel like when i just want to do, do like a quick shampoo this is the one i go to um i more so got it because it came with a pump and it was it's really big and i'm the type of person i like to get the biggest of something so i don't have to constantly keep going back to the store to buy it so it's okay but I mean you know it's not something that I would just like desperately go back to the store and just want to buy okay so the next item is a hair mask by the olive oil line I think it's like olive organics or organics I forgot what the actual line is called but um organic root stimulator 
I'm lying. That's what the line is called. It's a very popular line. Um, but this is an intense treatment for heat and color damaged hair. I will say personally for my hair, I do have heat damage because I do flat iron my hair and blow dry. Well, I blow dry my hair at least once a week because I wash my hair once a week. Um, and then I'm constantly like running a flat iron on my leave out. And then once I blow dry my hair, I typically flat iron my hair as well. Um, so I just wanted to start trying out hair masks. I've never tried hair masks until I think the, last, the end of last year. And I really do. Every hair mask I've used thus far, I've really enjoyed. This one I got as a sample from the hair store. Okay, so the next item that I finished is another sample. And I don't have curly hair, but I recently had some Body Wave Malaysian hair, which was just I just didn't like it um, but um, it's also by the same company organic root stimulator and just for the waves to have definition and to look even half decent I had to apply this to my hair pretty often at least twice a day and it, it did help it did help define the waves um, and it's the curl boosting jelly and it defines curls without a crunch um, for natural curls. But like I said, I used it on my Malaysian Body Wave. So this helped me down, although I did dislike the hair overall. Okay, so my next item is the Japanese Cherry Blossom Shower Gel from Bath & Body Works. This is definitely in my top three favorite scents from that store. I love the candle, I love the lotion, and yes, I love the shower gel. This I use to, of course, wash my body in the shower. These go for $11. This will last you super duper long and it just smells absolutely amazing. And then sticking on to body washes, this is the Poise Feminine Body Wash. So I use the Japanese Cherry Blossom to wash my body and then for my private parts, I use the Poise Feminine Wash. Um, I don't, for my, this is just my personal opinion, I don't believe in using a uh, bars of soap in general. I think soap is just gross. Um, and then it's when it comes to shower gels, I don't believe in using shower gels to wash your private parts. Scented items to wash your private parts. So I typically stick with the Poise or the, um, man, what is that line called? Summer's Eve Feminine Body Wash. So this is like what I use. That may be TMI, but hey, we're grown and I feel like we need to know things like that. Um, and this one, this is glycerin and paraben free good to know um, and this just helps balance out your pH besides you know actually cleaning your bikini and your butt um, it actually balances out the pH down there which is very important because as women things infections yeast infections like that can occur and you don't want that to occur but I do like this one and I also like the summer and then lastly yeah this is the last item um, it's my beet spray on cream this hands down this is what the nozzle looks like hands down is like my holy grail hair remover i don't know how you feel about hair but if it's not my eyelashes my eyebrows or the hair on my head i don't want it on my body um i'm just not a fan of body hair body hair hair in general where there's hair there's odor and i just can't stand hair on me so i'm one of those people where I'm shaving and removing hair and waxing hair and threading hair very often like crazy. Like I'm not a hairy person. Like I want to say I'm like in between, but I definitely do not like hair. So when I do have clients that come into my job, especially with it becoming the summer months, all the women want to know what's an alternative to shaving your bikini area. I don't believe in using razors on your bikini area for various reasons. Cuts, nicks, burns, irritation, um, bumps, which no one wants to see, especially when you're out on the beach. I always direct them to either the spray on cream or the actual cream where you can like put in your hand just you could just wipe it down. Um, waxing is a good choice. Waxing hurts. I'll never do it again. Um, but this I really like because you don't have to touch it. You just take it and then you spray it. Um, I also suggest it for women who um, may have uh, hairy stomachs. Um, that's a good area that you can use this on and it's very sensitive. It does smell like perm. So if you want something that smells good, this doesn't smell good. Um, it does say that it's for legs and body. 
but like I said you can use it on uh, your bikini line and it works like this it should work in about three to five minutes after, and it does come with a little scraper which I don't have in front of me but you can just scrape the excess off and then hop in the shower and then just rinse it all off with warm water and of course go back over it with like soap so yeah that pretty much sums it up for my first empties video if you like this video then definitely give it a thumbs up if you have any questions you know leave a comment down below and last but not least don't forget to subscribe so thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time bye